Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a very easy and very small code for a problem that is robot return to origin. So what the problem statement is that there is a robot starting at the position 0, 0 in a 2D plane. Okay, and the 0, 0 is let's say an origin and there's a 2D plane. Now what it now there is a sequence of moves the robot has to perform and the sequences moves are move, like from a current cell you have to either go left, right, top or bottom or like up or down. So from like you can assume that there's a very large grid and from the from any grid point you have a sequence of moves and from that sequence of move you have to like from any grid you have to either go up in the grid down left or right and then what you'll actually have to find out is that after performing all those operations after doing all of those moves whether the robot comes to the same point that is 0 comma 0 if it is true the answer is true as the answer is false so how you can check it out now for this problem what you can actually see is let's just it's a very small easy problem but let's draw it out so that it will become more clear to you let's say this is the grid i have the grid but let's say it again draw it out let's say this is 0 comma 0 okay 0 comma 0 now the sequence is that move up so you move up okay then he said that go right then again right then down then left and then left so what you can directly see is that if I want to come back to the same point, what it actually means is that the number of steps I moved up should be the number of steps I have to like bought down as well as the number of steps I have moved right should be equal to the number of steps moved right. Like uh, right is equal to the number of steps moved left. That's it. So you have to just match them out and just check that out whether they are equal or like whether they cancel out or not. So what you can say is that you can just take two variables like how much horizontal movement you have done so let's say horizontal and how many vertical movement you have done so vertical means that this is this movement horizontal moves this movement so let's say that you have moved one step top so you have moved one step vertical for every vertical movement in the in the up direction just increment your vertical variable let's have some variable plus plus one so plus plus so let's say now it becomes one now you move one step on the right. So for the right also, let's say now you're moving in the horizontal direction. So move your horizontal by plus one. So plus one. Now again, you have moved right. So horizontal now become plus two. So you have two spaces on the right from your origin as well as one space on the top of the origin. Now you moved one step back. So now because you have moved one step down, just decrement your horizontal like vertical position by one. So it will become zero. Now you move two steps on the horizontal on the left side. So whenever you move on the left side, just decrease it by one. So one and then one, so it will become zero. And whenever the sequence completes out, both the values should become zero again, which means that you have like whatever left or right, up, down, or like horizontal or vertical distances you have traveled, everything should be boiled down to zero. That's the overall logic and code, like logic part for this problem. That is one of the code part. So this is horizontal, hor, and vertical, like movements you have done iterate over all the moves if it is you which means that you have moved up increment your vertical by plus plus if you have moved down decrement your verticals if you have moved in the right direction increment your horizontals if you have moved on the right left hand side then decrement your horizontals and at the end if horizontal and verticals turns out to be zero the answer is that you have returned to the same point like changing out this problem if they just check out it whether they have reached to a certain point let's say starting from any coordinate and they have reached to a certain coordinate whether the sequence is correct or not, you can also do this thing and just check that from a particular point. If they have to reach a particular point, how many moves they have required, like let's say that yeah, they are on any particular point in the grid on this point and they have to reach this point. So they have to move certain moves in the horizontal direction and certain like certain in the vertical direction and certain in the horizontal direction. You can also check it out in this problem. So that is a different variation for this problem as well. Overall time omicity is O of n because you are iterating over the different moves and no space is required that's it that's the logical part space required for the variables actually so it's constant over fun that's the overall logic and the good part for this problem thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one let keep coding and bye